Hey guys, before I start the video, there's something I didn't show you about the XVO2 in any of my other videos. This thing's like a crawler. Check out the articulation. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> All right. Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome or welcome back to the channel, my name is Rex. In this video, we're gonna be playing with Tamiya's new rally car, the XV02. But we're not going off-road. We're gonna take this and put it on the asphalt. We're gonna to head to a parking lot and drive it on a chalked up track. I'm not gonna to go to any technical details about this car. I've already done it in two other videos. I'll put some info in the description below. Okay, so I did try two sets of wheels on this on a chalk track. Neither of them are these rally tires. The rally tires work well, I just didn't want to wear them out. So we tried these old Tamiya radials, but they had no grip whatsoever. You'll see in the video. Actually, you know what? Let's go watch the video now. So I made a track, it's all the way over there, through here, super tight chicane, comes all the way through here, up around, and because I've got technically a rally car, I made sure to put an obstacle in the middle of this hairpin here. It's essentially the box stock setup, except for 7,000 diff oil on the front, and I put on Tamiya on-road tires. I'm gonna drop a two shell in here, throw on the body, and run in here, see how it feels. Let's get to it. First impressions. I can go for a bigger pinion out here, I think. I'm not using the dust cover, so I shouldn't have really too much of an issue with heat. These tires don't have a lot of grip. It doesn't rotate like an XV01, that's for sure. These tires, though, let me try and warm it up, I guess. Tires need help getting grip. So, uh, yeah, it, you have to be very aggressive to get it to slide out. Or I need a bigger pinion gear. I'd like it to slide out without the sole use of power. Uh, weight shifting to, to make it slide would be nice. Kind of the way I've done it with the XV01. This is unfair. I should have put better tires on this. But this is really fun. Feels, feels good, feels different, very different from its older brother. So if you're not steady with the steering, it will, it is unstable uh, on, uh, with these tires and uh, on this surface. The sun is not really out today, so the floor is not hot. The car uh, doesn't rotate as easy. It's very responsive, but the full turn-in isn't there. Yeah, I need better tires for sure. How many times have I said that already? Whoa, I almost smashed in the camera there. Trying to get a good shot for the camera. It's, it understeers. It understeers in the setup I have with these old Tamiya radials. Understeers like crazy. You can see the front pushing. Let me try Scandinavian flick there at the end of that straight. Oh, that looks cool. Okay, okay, okay. Understeer. Let's try like a slalom kind of thing. Very stable. Very stable. Understeers like crazy here. On this pavement with this type of tire. I need to induce oversteer with these Tamiya radials. Pretty awesome what I do though. And nowhere near as easy as the, the XV01 to produce the oversteer with these tires. Yeah.
that was really fun. So as you saw there with the radials, we didn't have much grip, but it made for awesome video while I was throwing the car around, didn't it? No grip just means I'm allowed to be a lot more aggressive with the car, which makes it very, very, very fun to drive. Now we've seen it with those tires, I felt like I needed to do the car a bit more justice by putting something a little bit more grippy. Again, these probably would have sufficed, but I didn't want to wear them out. So I wanted to try a road tire. So I reached into my bag of carpet tires and pulled out four Jayco wheels and tires without sidewalls glued. What I mean is my carpet tires, the front wheels are always glued on the sidewalls to prevent flex and to uh, prevent roll. But for the asphalt, I needed all four of them unglued so I had more roll. So I put four old Jayco's on. I say old, at the time of making this video, there are new Jayco's that are different. These are very soft, slick rubber tires that I use on carpet. So we threw these on the car and boy, did it make a big difference. Anyways, let's go see how it did with much better tires. World of a different road is all to me right now. All right, we're back at the track with some much grippier tires now. These are old Jayco's, old Jayco's because there's new Jayco's that apparently aren't as good. Now we've got some proper tires on. Let's see how she goes. Oh yeah, I mean, that's a million times better. Look at that turn in. Oh my goodness. What a treat. I want some more speed now. Woo! Almost smashed my phone there. No way. World of a difference over those old Tamiya radials. Woo, this is fun. Woo! No way. Uh, okay. This is way more balanced than the XV01. It still allows you to turn in and oversteer, as you can see, as long as you've got some grippy tires. Okay, uh, I like this car a lot. I think I like it better than the XV01 on the pavement so far. Woo! Well, power just dumped. Or it's a heat issue. Alright guys, sounds like we've run into a loose pinion. Listen to this. What? Pretty sure that's a loose pinion or something. So we'll go back home and check that out. All right, so I got that home after I had that little problem there and I confirmed it was a pinion gear. Added some thread lock, put that all back together and went back out to the track. At this point, I should have changed the pinion gear. 19 tooth was just not fast enough for the little track I had. I would like two more teeth, I think. Definitely needs to be faster. I'd like it probably at least two more teeth. Running on asphalt, I don't have to worry as much about heat because I don't have the dust cover on. I'm gonna kill these tires. Woo! This thing is fun through the technical section. I need more speed.
All right, we're back. And as you saw, the car is magic. It rolls and leans around the corners and looks so cool while it's doing it. It might not be the fastest car around that track in this setup, but that's not what my current goal was. It was to discover the drivability, the characteristics, and see how good it looks on video. There is a lot more I want to say about this car, and I wanted to say it in my dirt rally video as well, but I wanted to save a lot of it because what I have to say will fit even better in the XV01 versus XV02 comparison video. A lot of what I have to say, I'm pretty sure I can show you on video. Keep in mind, these are my experiences in my settings, in my surroundings, and everyone may have a different experience with this vehicle. Let me know your experience, tips, comments, questions below. Cats. Make it a great day and peace out.